again. We're back on. Because the live is bougie. Third live's the charm. Third live is the charm. Third live is the charm. Okay, so we're back and we're back. <laughs> Look, I just made it worse. I'm gonna get it straight going. First live stream, you gotta get the kinks out. I did it. All right. You got it straight. Waiting on a little more people to come in, start watching before I say what I was gonna say. The stream be fucking us up. We gonna have to get this together. It's all good though. We learning. Yeah, for sure. We learning. <clears throat> it's kind of cap how I keep doing that though. Yeah. Mike Newman. Hey yo, we good. How you how you doing? Hey Mike. What's up? Again, sorry about the live streams. This is the first time. And we're running the kinks. I don't know why it keeps cutting off on us, but I think we got it. Yeah. So, as you see the title, this is a Q&A. So, if you have any questions, send those to us in the Super Chats. Let us know. Super Chat. And we'll answer any stickers? questions that you have. It's random. Who has seen every, what's, it, what's the movie called? Everything, Everywhere, Always. I mean, all the time. All at once. Why do you not know the name of this movie yet? Like, it's been like four days, Chad. My bad. Get it together. Who's seen the movie, though? How did we first meet? Send it in a super chat and we'll answer you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it like that. I didn't mean it like that. They know what I, I mean. I know, I was gonna say, I, 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 they probably know what you mean. Probably the worst candy I could be eating. I like Starburst a little bit better. But they ain't paying us. How did we first meet? I'm just gonna point to me and say it was my fault. It was my fault. What was? That we met. It was your fault? I mean, I, I guess that's a bad way to put it. Hmm. <laughs> my bad. You all can hear us and everything. I just want to make sure everything's good. I don't want to see, I don't want to catch no pump fakes. Third time we had to put this stream up. And we also need people to put, uh, once we get more people in the live stream, we're gonna, I want you guys to throw movies in the chat so we can uh, pick and put them in a the poll and see what wins. And we'll be doing that every month. Every time, plus every time we hit a uh, 1K, or once we hit seven seven thousand subscribers, uh, we'll do another live stream. Yeah. But we'll continue the uh, the the uh, polls for sure. Thirty days of night. Super chat your questions. Brian. What's up, Brian? What's up, Chelsea? What's up, Isaac? 30, 30 days of night. I feel like I've I feel like I've heard of that movie. I 
feel like I've heard of that. What's up, Caleb? What's up, Caleb? Uh, Umbrella Academy. I feel like somebody else said that. Or maybe I've even seen it. Is it new? Uh, it's like... I, I, I feel like it's like a Nat Geo kind of thing. Mm. But it's like... But I could be wrong. I feel like I've seen it before. Like... Um, not seen it, but like seen it while somebody's watching it or something. Okay. Afro Samurai. <laughs> hey, veteran comedy. That's a good one. No, I, I'll tell you the movie I want to watch is like that. I think it's called Kung Pao. I think it's like a, it's like a funny 2000s like Kung Fu movie. I think that's what it's called. Or Kung Fu something. Mm -hmm. Where a nigga like fights a cow. Wait. Thank you, Chelsea. She said she enjoys our videos. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Okay. All right. So it's six o'clock. So we need you guys to throw some movies in there. Mm -hmm. We need some movies. And like, give us some like legit. I'm not saying that all you guys don't have legit. I'm just saying like, Give us some like legit picks, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna probably put, uh, we're probably gonna put four in a in a in a poll, and then uh, let you guys decide. Horror, horror is coming during fall. No, during October, you're gonna get you sick. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, during October, you're going to get sick of of the horror movies from us. Because I already have pretty much October planned. Because I'm a horror guy. So, we're going to do the Friday the 13th franchise. We're going to do the Michael, uh, the Halloween franchise. She hasn't seen all of the Jason movies. I haven't seen all the Halloween movies. Have you seen the Freddy movies? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen all the Freddy movies, but I've seen like the first two. And then I think uh, Dream Warriors. I think I'm getting that wrong. It's Dream something, but that's another one of my favorites. Uh, but we'll, we'll be doing all that stuff in October. And then probably on Halloween, we'll probably do another marathon with like uh, Halloween Town, uh, Hocus Pocus. Uh, maybe something like Beetlejuice, and then we might we might save The Exorcist three. Uh, for that for that day, and or maybe even what's that Texas Chainsaw Massacre two thousand three, with Jessica Biel. I think it's got it in her. Is that her name? Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's in it though. I'm I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah. If y'all want, if y'all want horror movies from us, we'll we will do some here and there. Cause there's a few horror movies that um, I feel like I watch outside of Halloween. The Flintstones. Oh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Okay. So. Say. Movies. Okay, first one we're gonna pick because I like that one. We're gonna do uh Flintstones from '94 with John Goodman. I think Rick Moranis was in that. I think Rosie O'Donnell was in that. Halle Berry was in that. I'm trying to remember who else is in there. It's been forever since I've seen that. All right, hold on. What'd you say? Lord of the Rings, The Descent, Jason, Ben-Hur, 1959. What happened? I was acting ignorant. The thing I hate is when you try to use the pencil, it acts weird. <clears throat> like, I should be able to just be like, mm, and turn it away. And I probably can't, i slow. And Hush is really good. Like, uh, 
horror movies that we would watch like outside of Halloween is like uh, Dark Skies, uh, Fourth Kind, The Fourth Kind, uh, probably the uh, what you call it? What? Some things called Insidious. Is that what they call? Mm -hmm. Those are some. Those are definitely some uh, movies. We'll four movies we will watch outside of Halloween. I'm getting these skittles, good. Okay, we got the Flintstones from '94. Come on, give us more movies. And ask us questions. This is a Q and A. Dispense movies they don't have on the edge of your seat. The Descent. Dispense? Did I say that? Oh. The, that's what she said. Oh, you made me feel like I was real. I think it was Suspense. The, dis the Suspense. Okay. <laughs> suspense movies, yeah. yeah. Uh, Eight Legged Freaks. Ah, oh, Lord. He has a thing with spiders. I can't like, do that. We, cannot, we can't watch Arachnophobia. We can't watch Eight Legged Freaks. Arachnophobia is not that bad. I'm not watching that shit. Hotel Transylvania, too. Also, we might do Evil Dead sometime soon. We might do Evil Dead because she ain't never seen that. And I want her to see it after watching uh, Doctor Strange. And next week, uh, Multiverse of Madness comes out on digital. So we're going to be able to react to it. Uh, so once Multiverse of Madness come out, we might start... Uh, we might start Evil Dead after that. With Sam Raimi and, uh, damn, I forget his name. That's crazy, but he was the pizza guy. Matilda. Somebody said Matilda. Hmm. Okay, Is I like... Is there a film you reacted to that you didn't enjoy? Hmm. Well, I, I always remember this one. Put Matilda on there, because that's, that's not a bad one. Um, Caleb, it was... When we, when we, was, when we was reacting to uh, Batman vs. Superman, that whole process and that whole entire reaction, it, every time I think about it, it's just exhausting. Because one... We couldn't get the movie to work on my computer. Then on top of that, it's really long. So for certain people, the, a lot of the dialogue is not what they wanted. But if you pay attention to the dialogue, it leads up to what is to come. So it was a long movie and a long dialogue movie. And then on top of that, uh, we watched the ultimate version. We were kind of pressed for time. And I, I felt like that I really, we really didn't get to enjoy the reaction like we were supposed to because it was, we just had a lot of issues with it that day. But I'm not saying that the movie was bad, but just that whole reaction process, that was just too much. That was too much. What was your most favorite film that you reacted to? No, we haven't seen Seven Moon or the the Bar Orders. Mm. Uh, let's see. What was your most favorite film that you reacted to? What's my favorite one that I reacted to? Um, up to date. It, for me, it might have been Shang Chi, because I got I got to wear my uh, like a personal reaction. Like it might have been Shang Chi because I got to wear my Shang Chi jacket. But if it's not that, uh, then I'll probably take episode four of Stranger Things. <clears throat> episode four of Stranger Things really just... I, I listen to Kate Bush every day. The song plays in my head every day. Like, that episode did everything they were supposed to do and what TV is supposed to do. What about you? You got a favorite one? 
like your funniest or maybe like the one that makes you laugh as much? I'm weak the more than time, homie. <laughs> Maybe the Deadpools. The Deadpools? Cause she loves Deadpool. I feel it. Hey. I don't think the Morbius movie was all that bad. Hey. <sighs> What's crazy is, I'm gonna tell you guys something. For real, for real. The movies that I expected to be our highest viewed movies are not our highest view, or not the ones that I would expect. Like, I think it's like Scary Movie. Spider-Man, no way home. I mean, Sp uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. The Amazing, two. yeah, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Scary Movie. That's at like 35K or something. Stranger Things. K. Stranger Things 4 just is up to 21. I didn't know that. I thought it was like at 19. That's crazy. You guys are amazing. Oh, look. Thank you, SSJK dot. Super Saiyan GNK dot. I love it. Like of a Batman, like the animated series? Or what? Have you seen Jeepers Creepers? Mm hmm. I think I've seen one of those movies. I can't tell you which one, but it's been a long time. Would you guys react to older films, 50s and 60s? Yeah, if we try. I would, however, like... I would try. It has to be... I don't know. I'm kind of picky about older movies. Like, I won't watch, like, a Western from the 50s or 60s or, you know... But I'm, I'm kind of... I would... I just have to pick the right one. What up, Ray? What's up? Hey, Ray. The Batman from 2004. What up, Ray? Animated series. Um, I'll probably take... That's hard for me. I'll probably take the spectacular uh, Spider-Man. I'm not really fans of any Batman other than like the ones from the Toonami Justice League with Batman in it. Uh, I'm not really fans of any other Batman other than like the animated series. Have or you guys seen Wrong Turn? I have seen all the Wrong Turns. I don't know if he has, but the no. Saw movies are coming in November because that's my birthday month, and those are my favorite movies. And we're going to kind of celebrate the month of November with the Saw movies. Oh yeah, Saw. Hey, Ar, what's up, bro? Oh, Ar, hey, my guy. That's family, bro. I haven't seen Wrong Turn and the Saw movies. I haven't seen anything past three. So you all know me. If there's, if there's any horror franchise out here that's got nine movies other than Jason, I haven't seen all of them. Because I don't... The you know Saw movies are my freaking fave. I was started watching them when I was a young child. Like, I think the first one came out in like, oh, five... And I watched it in 05. I was like mm. nine years old, eight years old watching that shit. The Conjurings. How did y'all meet? Okay, I guess we will answer that. I, um, <laughs> I had, we had messaged, we had <laughs> messaged each other, and then like it went completely quiet on his end or on my end his receiving end because i was in jail sad but true and then when i got out i saw he had messaged me checking on me like are you good i haven't heard from you like are you breathing <laughs> so like i told him like my bad i just got out of jail and then we've been talking ever since and then he invited me over one day and i came and we've been together ever since five years this year. That was five years ago. I, I lied. That wasn't the last $2 in my pocket. I've been watching for a while, but I just subscribed like two minutes ago. Well, shout out to you. Thank yeah. you for subscribing finally. And thank you for your super chat as well. Yeah, thank you for the super chat. And for other people too. I know I've seen a lot of comments because when 
earlier when it, when Jayla was in school, I was doing Power Rangers and stuff like that. Like people want me to do Power Rangers. I promise I will get yes. back to Power Rangers. Um, have I seen Spiral? Have we seen Spiral? No, I haven't. Yes. I have seen, I haven't, I don't feel like I've seen all of it, but I have, I have watched it. I don't, I can't remember how it ends, like for some reason, but I, I have watched it. We're going to start putting movie, TV show poll suggestions. Yeah, so we will be doing polls on YouTube. So you guys, that is, that will be like your YouTube pick. Or, pay, or your, yeah, YouTube choice and Patreon pick. Yeah, so we're, on both. we're gonna have both. Yes, it'll definitely be on both. And on Patreon, <clears throat> I have it set up so that um, if you want to suggest a TV show for us to watch, like an entire series, or suggest a movie that you you want us to watch, I do have it up on Patreon where. Uh, you can suggest that and pledge to, you know, suggest it, of course. It just takes a lot of time editing. That's that's the issue. The editing issue with work and stuff like that just takes a lot of time. Absolutely. So. Spy Kids movies. That'd be something we can get into. When, like, Shark Boy, Mob Girl. That's such a cute movie. That's something we can get into. Have you seen the nah? And to be honest with you, uh, I'm afraid to watch a lot of that stuff. She's well, I don't want to get into the age difference because she hates it. But because he brings it up all the time, it's right? not like that. I'm just saying because I like there's a big difference between the '90s and uh, growing up in the '90s and growing up in the 2000s. And you grew up in the 2000s, and I grew up in the '90s. Martin was on t like. I got to see Martin live. I got to see Fresh Prince live. I got to see Step by Step, Full House, some of those shows live. So, uh, when remember when, they, when Fresh Prince did the Netflix reunion or who somebody did they did a when Fresh Prince did a reunion like and it was really sad. It was really sad. And uh, Martin, they have lost. They lost a the character, uh, Tommy, and uh, that's it's. Uh, I'm scared to watch it. I don't want to. I don't want to have my feelings hurt and want to go through the emotional roller coaster of that because that shit, you know, that's like childhood shit. Those are shows that like my mom and them was watching in the front room growing up. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother and them was watching back then. You know what I'm saying? Fresh uh, Prince, HBO yeah, Max. HBO Max. Yeah, I knew it was one of them. One of them yeah. streaming apps. Have you ever acted to Midnight Mass? No. In the near future, Midnight Mass. I have to check that out. Hmm. Nah, for real. There's a lot of stuff I want to check out because uh, you all, I, I, I owe y'all everything because y'all showed me Stranger Things and you showed us Stranger Things. And I'm going to tell you how much I'm in love with Stranger Things. Right now, if, if I wouldn't be trying to save up for the kids' school and summer stuff, I would probably go gung-ho on Strange, the Stranger Things, you know, pop up, pop it, so what are those things called? And, oh, Funko Pops. Um. And uh, fidget, toys. fidget toys and t-shirts. I want a Hawkins jersey. <laughs> so I owe y'all everything for showing me Stranger Things, bro. Like that's that's probably my favorite show of all time right now. What we talking about? Well, um, you can send us a question in a super chat, and we'll answer it. Or you can send us. Movie or TV show suggestions to be put in a poll in the future, in the near future. You feel me, bro? Hey, you seen the Indiana Fever's uh, oh, women's yeah, jerseys? This shit was nuts, bro. I was like, oh, I got to get one. But the issue is, it's like... Uh, What's the, the the women's jerseys? Men's need a two X. I need, I wore an XL jersey, so it's like I need to buy a two X in the women's. Have we seen wrong turn? Yes, we already answered that question. What happened? Ever seen wrong turn? Oh no, we, we haven't. I yes, I have. I I have it. You said we. Wrong <laughs> part. I've seen him, but I he I don't think he has. Wrong turn. 
I've seen the heels have eyes and the eyes have heels and the. Lucas was wearing eight for Kobe. Mmm. Turn up. See, look, they was trying to tell me why do you like Lucas so much, and I was like, look, I have to, like, I, like eleven and Lucas for some reason. One because Lucas was going off on L and he wasn't playing that shit. And then when like in the first season, yes, when they was mad at each other and he went over to shake hands with old boy, he wasn't playing that shit. No. He was like, look. We can be together, but she not in the club because I don't trust her. And I was like, man, who is this kid? Like, But then took a liking to Max. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all watch DLT. I have never in my life seen a one millisecond of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Ever. Oh, you said Game of Thrones? Yeah, he said y'all watch DLT, which is Game is that, of is that Thrones, Game I'm guessing, yeah. There's a lot of people, uh, there's a lot, but Game of Thrones is big. Like, I, I low-key, I want to get into a lot of those big, big shows. Like, they said the Lord of the Rings show is crazy. Archer, I've, I haven't seen Archer, but I don't really care mm. for that style of That's another one. animation. I like that. What? Freedom Rider. Oh, I was talking. I'm sorry, sweetie. Yeah, Freedom Riders. I'm sorry. I was in the middle of talking, though. I'm sorry. Man, doll, baby. Is that the one with the ghost in it? On camera? I think we've seen Million Dollar Baby. No, that's Three Men and a Baby. I ain't never seen that. It's got a ghost in it. You ain't never heard that story? Mm -mm. What? I don't know what you're talking about. There's a ghost and in And he always act like this. Anytime I tell him I ain't never seen nothing, he always just acts like it's the end of the freaking world. Because she loved that shit. So I'm like, how you ain't seen it? I mean, how you ain't heard of that shit? Like, in, in The Wizard of Oz, Nanny gave me the tape. She had it in all black and white. Because Nanny had the one where it don't change in the color. So, in the black and white version, when they're walking down the yellow brick road to go towards Oz in the woods, you can see somebody off getting up and hanging themselves. I know, I know, I know. And then, I know. uh, I know. and three men and a baby, there's supposed to be a ghost figure in that. Dang. But somebody died in the, I think in the apartment they were shooting at. Halloween ends in Scream 6. Probably, yes. We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably go see both of them. Fright mm -hmm. Night. Mm -mm. Fright Night, no. Ugh. Is Fright Night a scary movie? Hey, yes, Batman Ninja, the Japanese dub, that shit crazy. <sighs> that shit crazy. Joyride. Is that got Queen Latifah in it? Or Ice Cube? Uh, I don't remember. Or Kevin Hart? Boy, uh, no, that's Ride Along. Oh, okay. With Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. Or, I mean, is it? Are you going to see the new Thor in theaters? Yes. Yes. We Next week, we're starting Thor. Probably Monday, we'll have the first Marvel Thor movie. And I had some people tell us that they want us to react to the MCU. Well, this is kind of how we're going to react to the MCU. You know what I'm saying? Because we've seen those movies, but it's been so long. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're talking a long time since we've seen some of those movies. So, anytime they have, like, an attaching character or a new show or something like that like we'll probably do all the thor movies up until when thor come out you know what i'm saying so we'll definitely do all the thor movies and then we're gonna go see the new one because i want to see what uh, christian bale looks like as gore the god butcher mm -hmm. and uh yeah and we're gonna do a review too um paul walker r.i.p Hold on, is Joker 2 really going to be a musical? I thought that was just a rumor. Uh, Hold on, is Joker 2 really going to be a musical? I thought that was just a rumor. Hold on, is Joker 2 really going to be a musical? I thought that was just a rumor. I'm trying to, I, I want to know. That, that, My hip just, I don't know, like spasmed. <laughs> that was weird. Did you have a trolley horse? I got, yes, I got stuck. <laughs> trolley horse. What kind of stuff? Y'all listen to Drake's new album? No, I tell you. We're not that. gonna no. We're not gonna talk about yeah, it. Yeah, why not? They won't talk to they won't talk to us about it. I'm joking. Oh, okay. Okay. They probably think I'm mean as shit because of how you react to how I talk or 
What are they? I'm not mean, y'all. You are ghost rock. I'm not mean in my face. I don't know. I can't hide my face, but I don't really have a mean face. But You are ghost rock. I'm not mean. Stop trying to portray me like a mean mother sucker. <laughs> okay. The thing about the Drake album is, is that for me, um, I'm really only interested in artists like that giving competitive music. Meaning, uh, pushing the envelope, uh, trying to be, be trying to be the number one uh, artist. So I'm not really interested in uh, the new Drake album for real. I've listened to some of the songs I've skimmed through, mm -hmm. um, but just honestly, like I think I think it's 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 not for me. I'm not saying it's bad, but like no this promotion. Is just, this is just like normal music. Like he just dropped it. It wasn't like a beef, or it wasn't like a competitive like it was just something to drop <laughs> bad baby and i like some of her music no her some of some of her music is actually pretty good like but she got the money to do that though now she needs it but she need to, but like i mean i guess i do i do music so i understand like when you have money and you try to do music and when you have a lot of money your music shouldn't be shit because you should be able to pay for you know some good writers to have your your music yeah. decent like jocelyn a lot of people laugh at Jaws's music, but like at least she's writing her own shit, and you she, know she is. <laughs> she's writing, she's writing it, but she got people. She got a team in the room that's helping her make sure that she's not out here dropping Weird Al music. Where's Takashi Six Nine? Uh, that person don't exist. He's probably doing. I never really had a beef with dude, but everybody he else had a beef a with dude. Like we don't. I don't, but I don't know nothing about that. that. Oh well, I do. We, I don't we know don't, that. We're not doing that. Have y'all got into the Alien? I've seen the Alien. I've never seen the Predator franchise, but she's never seen the Alien. Excuse me. Hold on, wait. Uh -uh. What? Hey, I'm not. Don't. Don't. Uh -uh. Why not? I was. I, 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 no, I wouldn't even. Don't why not? That's it. Why one. not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Because that's that's completely inappropriate and not anything what we're talking about. Like, he might why be. would you bring politics into it? Because like, somebody might be a somebody might like politics. No, <laughs> y'all probably don't think I'm mean after this. I'm not though. <laughs> Oh, and he just told y'all otherwise, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Be, I'm about to be mean as hell. I'm joking. Watch. I'm going to be Ghost Rider for real. You see on a shirt? Me. I'm joking. An alien series? Oh, I bet you that would be dope. The first alien is kind of scary, though. I would like, that's what, that's why I think you should watch it. You would like it. He said the album missed for a lot of people. No, I'm talking about this. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it's okay. He's in South Florida. I think that, uh, I think the Drake Girl, you look like you take crack on the weekends. Oh, is it the John Gotti versus? <laughs> so that's funny? Because, because obviously it's a troll. It's obviously it's a troll. Like. You wrote him in a timeout. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that about the Chucky. The, look, the issue with the Chucky series, I can't get past that lunch, that lace front he got on. He got a new hairdo. I don't know who did it. Uh, I know actually, I know I know who did it. He had a uh, Brad Mondo do. They had Brad Mondo do the new Chucky dolls hair, and uh, Transformers. I want to do that, but I want to wait and do that. I want to wait and do Transformers when the when the new like Beast Transformers come out. Already. So that's kind of a long franchise. We would have to like stretch that one out because there's like five movies. And what? The Transformers. Yeah. I mean, that's why I say, I mean, like, 
Transformers is not bad. I have seen Alien vs. Predator, but we haven't reacted to it. I ain't seen it. The Chucky series. John Gotti returns. <laughs> and he came back. Hey, I'm waiting. Crack women. I'm only one woman. Okay, first of all. Second of all. Hey, hey. I'm, hey let's see if he has another account. <laughs> Now I want to see if he has another account. Hey, right, y'all, this shit comedy. Yeah, I take everything so serious and so personal. It's people, really a flaw, personality flaw of mine. People be trolling. I'm just kidding. I totally am sarcastic. <laughs> There's a few people I've seen do Transformers, but like it's really it's gappy. Probably because of the like copyright stuff. They're probably really whoever did the Transformers movies are probably really Michael strict Bay. on huh? Michael Bay. No, I mean the company. I'm sorry. They um probably are really strict on their copyright stuff. It might be like Universal. Maybe because Universal be playing with us. They be petty, boy. So we can't really. Yeah, there are a few things that we can't or won't watch because of we we don't want a strike on our channel, and we just got the other one off. So yeah, we just got Jocelyn's. Uh, this is the end. I've heard that this is the end. It's a good movie. Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. My favorite Transformers is the one with Mark Wahlberg in it. And people are gonna hang me for that one, but that shit that one is funny, especially at the end when the motherfucking robot was playing the organ and, and singing opera. That shit was comedy. Have you guys ever considered watching anime? Probably the best communities and supporters will come from anime reactions. We watch anime like separately. Like we watch it on our own time. Well, we've done we've we tried a few things on the channel. Yeah. Uh, maybe six to eight months ago, and if it doesn't really get past a certain number for me, I don't really continue it. And yes, we've seen the Loki series. So it's on our channel. You can go I check have, it out. I have the reaction to Loki, but we we will probably re-react to Loki once the new series is about to come out. Shia LaBeouf. Yes, they did. Planet of the Apes trilogy. I love Planet of the Apes. I have never seen that. You haven't? It reminds me of being in jail. Like, I just told y'all the story of me being in jail. Watching Planet of the Apes reminds me of being in jail. Damn. Ted. Have y'all seen Ted? I've seen Ted, too, I think. Like, Dragon uh, Z, my favorite song a is that Animes that we, like, I want to react to, that I want to show her. Because she's never seen the original, I think it was 99 Pokemon movie. She's never seen that, and like that's the number one selling American anime film. Um, I definitely want to react to that. Uh, I want to react to Digimon, the first season. Yeah. I think first, maybe and second season, and then uh, we did. We started Zoids, and we're gonna we're gonna finish that up. Uh, New Chaotic Century. We started Zoids, um, and I might get into some other ones like. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, you've never seen that, which is a really dope, that's really, that's old school, it's, but it's fire. Yeah. It's like old school, like when Dragon Ball was coming out, so it's good shit. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, mm -hmm. that shit good. Even the first, uh, episode of Sailor Moon is not uh, even all that bad. Like, even, like the first. I love Sailor Moon. The first season. That's one of my favorite animes. Um, I'm trying to think of some other animes that I actually, like, maybe, I don't know if they would let us do Bleach. Because Bleach is fucking gory. I know. It is. Bleach is. One Piece, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia. Okay, those are all kind of, in my opinion, those are all kind of like mainstream. Not kind of. Those are those are mainstream. And I've seen them. He said Bleach is fine. But I would like to watch something not that's not necessarily so mainstream that like maybe we could all watch it together as a community, something we've never seen together. Like, what about, uh, what about, uh, S uh, Swore Art Online? You never seen that? SAO? That's like a love story type anime. Like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it's like, it has something to do with like a game world, but it's really dope. Like, you like, people be playing these, <coughs> like, a, like, like, we got the Oculus. People be playing the game in the Oculus. But the thing about it is, it's like somebody made some type of fucking, 
thing over it to where if you die in the game, then you die in real life. Mm -hmm. So this dude who basically plays this game with this chick across wherever, you know, because it's worldwide game, like it's a community game or whatever. He mm -hmm. plays in this room with this girl. So then he goes out. Once he finds out that, oh, you die if you... You die in real life if you die in the game. Yeah. He goes off to try to find this girl, and it's like a love story. Right. And save this girl. But it's it's fucking fire. It's fucking fire. No, I think I have seen that. They like, it's like, I think I have seen that. SAO? Yeah. You, you might. I think so. It sounds familiar. Like, I can picture it. Like, they're like, in the game, they're like these big old, they're like people, but they're like built. Well, they have like they they all like different characters. They all have like superpowers because it's like that type of you know what I'm saying. Well, yeah. Not like superpowers, but like some have to be a knight. Some niggas might you know what I'm saying. If you do mainstream first, then the community can help pick a low key anime from a poll. Absolutely, that's a great that's a good idea. Good suggestion. And Shaun of the Dead. No, if I if I do a if I do a uh, if I do a, a recent anime, I, I probably would do uh, My Hero Academia. I heard that one's really good. And I've seen a lot of the One Piece, but y'all fucking crazy, bro. One Piece is almost 2,000 some episodes, bro. Y'all crazy. Like, like maybe I can maybe I can do a Twitch. Maybe I can start a Twitch where maybe if you all have Twitch, um, maybe we can like watch those episodes on Twitch together. Mm -hmm. We could do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause like. The the react like all them reactions, bro. Y'all crazy. Samurai Jack and Ben Ten. Uh, yes, Samurai I Jack. I love Ben Ten and Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. That's possibly like the best Cartoon Network show they gave us back then. What? Samurai Jack. You heard of Stay Alive? It might have a similar feel. To you heard of Stay Alive? No, I ain't never heard of it. That sounds dope, though. More specifically, if you die in the game, you die in real life atmosphere. Okay, maybe, maybe I've seen that one or something. I know I've seen something because they wear like they wear something, right? Mm -hmm. And then like I've seen him. Like I, I remember seeing that scene. Because I like where I, he actually got to her or something, but he died or she died. Bro, One Piece is One Piece is fire, bro. I put it next to Dragon Ball. As my, my favorite top two animes ever, well, it's hard. Ugh. I'll probably do Dragon Ball, Monster Ranchers, and then One Piece. And y'all probably kill me for Monster Ranchers, but Monster Ranchers is fire. Dexter's Lab. What's your opinion on Scream 6 not having Sydney being in the movie? Personally, oh. okay, I see both sides of it. Like... I see how she wants more, like, she wants what she's worth, obviously. However, like, I don't know. It, I, she probably wouldn't be in it a lot, which is why they were going to pay her what they were, and she just wasn't hearing it. So, I see kind of both sides of it. Like, yes, you carried the franchise, basically, her and Gail Weathers. And... Chippy bang. Chippy chip bangs. But, I mean, yes, they did carry the franchise. However, like, it was dope for them to come, all of them. Her, Dewey, and Gail, they was all in it in the fifth one. But, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe they, sh I don't know. Maybe eventually they'll bring her back if they do more down the line, but... That's I my opinion. I feel like that uh, the way they're doing the story... Is that this franchise is about to come, uh, and it's about to come to an end here soon. So I feel like that um, they 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 were able to do Scream Five, and they got a good cast, mm -hmm. and it worked out for them, like a good new cast. Um, so I feel like that they're trying to take, you know, a few steps back away from Sydney, and then. I guarantee you, like when they have their last movie or whatever, she'll have she'll make a comeback. You know what I'm saying, or something like that. What movie have you not watched in 2022? Movie that came out this year, like a movie that has not or has come out or hasn't. We've seen everything now, cause the tonight movies. we. Cause we watched uh, tonight yeah like you were gonna I'm sorry to cut you off but tonight our everything everywhere all at once 
is dropping. So we finally watched that. And that, I mean, so far, I think we're pretty up to date on all the movies that have came out this year. So far. On the, you know, important movies. Uh, no, we ain't seen Top Gun. No, we have not seen Top Gun. That's, that is one that we haven't seen. But I ain't seen the original Top Gun, Maverick. I've seen them. I haven't. Have you seen Training Day? Or what, like, not Training Day. Uh, it's like Top Gun Training or something like that. Mm -hmm. You haven't. Mm -hmm. But we will be doing that, though. Yeah. Whenever, um, whenever Top Gun Maverick come out on, the new movie come out on streaming, we'll do both. Has not come out this year. I mean, can't watch it if it hasn't come out yet. Hold on. What movie have you not watched? In 2022. That has not come out this year. That has not come out this year. I'm confused because we can't watch it if it ain't out. Like, you know, like you're talking about a movie that's uh, that's supposed to come out later down the road? Or that like, we want to watch? That we want to come, that we want to come out? What is your question? Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. What's your question? We're both confused. The Narnia Chronicles. I've only seen the first one. I've only seen the first Narnia. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I ain't seen I've that. only seen that one. Haven't haven't seen a lot of the magic world. Mm. I've seen like the first Harry Potter. Mm. You still doing my nose? No. Oh. <laughs> Would you rather watch Star Wars Episode Three on Blu-ray or Disney Plus? Probably Blu-ray. I don't think it matters because on Disney Plus you can watch it widescreen or cinema. Like not on the, not on that one. It's not in IMAX. Um, it's like 4D because it was made back then, so you can only update it or mat remaster it so far. Episode three was really good though. Oh, that shit classic. That was great. <clears throat> Episode three classic. That shit and I'm cute. glad we did watch it the way we did because Obi Wan Kenobi series. Picks up after three. That's crazy. So I'm so glad that I we watched it like that because I would have no idea. Like, um, I'm talking about yet in the works. Like, oh, like movies that like that, that's in the works. Um, the only movie that I'm really kind of love from South Africa. Sorry to cut you off, but yeah. that's amazing. Hey. Um, uh, the only movie that I'm really looking forward to seeing right now is uh ant-man next year because that's going to be our first sight of kang the conqueror probably, probably Jonathan loki. from loki jonathan majors probably going to be playing a, a loki variant or a kang the conqueror variant in that movie and right. there's also rumors of um they said that reed richards and the thing are in the quantum realm and we might see the fantastic four and Ant Man, so that's the movie that I got my eye on. And right. today they just came out and said, uh, they just came out and said that about Black Panther, the post credit scene is supposed to have Doctor Doom in it. And if the post credit scene has Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom is top five villain. Yeah, it's, it's fucking Doctor Doom. You know what I'm saying? Like what Doctor Doom can bring to the table, fam. I don't think people fucking realize how crazy that and how genius that motherfucker. Well, you seen the Fantastic Four movies? That was just a little small tidbit glimpse. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he oh, was he even... charmed. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell y'all. Oh, God. Me and my childhood best friend, her name was Kirsten. Shout out to you if you're seeing this. Hey, girl. But we used to, like, pretend that we were the charmed witches and do things. I don't know. We had such an imagination. But it was so fun. Like, I love charmed. I'll be one. I haven't watched Mandalorian or Boba Fett. I, you don't really need to watch Boba Fett or Mandalorian to watch obi-wan like they don't connect in any way they do kind of but it's not like Wait. it's not like i don't know how you like what do you for context like it's it's not for context they don't connect in context they connect just like yeah i was gonna say little, mandalorian little things here and there it connects to both of them but it's more this it's more about Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. I'm not saying anything else because you haven't seen it, but you can come watch with us. When, we have go ahead. we have them all up 
to five up on our channel now. Hold on, when Charge is amazing. Hold on, like that. Hold on, say. I'll fight oh, anyone no. who dissed that show. That's my fave. Mandalorian has more ties to the timeline with uh, Bo Katan and uh, Moff Gideon and and different things like that. So like. I'm not trying to, I'm, I can't spoil you by time, like I can just give you names. But like, you get more context through that show than you do Boba Fett. I feel like people, uh, like Boba Fett is interesting, like, if you're a Boba Fett fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was dope watching the prequels with her because we watched Boba Fett and then she realized that Boba Fett played his dad. Yes, oh my gosh. The Wayne Brothers movie, Little Man and White Chicks. Oh, uh, yeah, we definitely will do those. We guys, watched um, A Haunted House and A Haunted House 2, which has Marlon Wayans in it. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out. But I don't think we've really seen any more, any other Wayans movies. Hold on. Back to the charm comment. <laughs> okay. I'm not dissing Charmed, but I'll tell you what. Back in the day, uh, ER would come, out, come on after Charmed. And I would never watch Char, but I would always catch the last about five minutes because ER would come on right after. And it didn't look that bad because it had a good cast. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see Did you guys see in Moon Knight, there was an episode when he was in the truck trying to get away from the people who were attacking him. The box said Von Doom, Dr. Doom. Oh, oh my God. What God. an uh, Easter egg. Shout out to you, Ray. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It, 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 it's like trying to get away from the truck. So was that like, where were they at? Was that like probably in the desert when I, they were like I don't know trying if that to get was, in the truck? I don't. I, they might have been on the highway when he started driving backwards, and he huh. kicked it when he shot the dude and he fell out the back of the truck. See, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about. There is a scene though where they were in the desert, so I'm trying to think like if that's Fifty Shades of Black is the one. That is movie. a. I've seen that. I don't think he has, but that's a funny movie. It's it's pretty funny. Is the best movie of the year. Uh, I think it is really good. I wouldn't say. I was gonna say of the year. Not for me. It is a really good movie. I think the best movie of the year is the Batman. I don't know. I think the Batman got it locked. Uh, I haven't seen Top Gun Maverick, uh, but also y'all gotta y'all gotta remember that Avatar comes out this year, and everybody is horny balls for fucking Avatar, and I'm not necessarily a fan. I'm not saying. Anything bad about it. I just never could get into it. Um, but I know how big Avatar is. So like. You know what I'm saying? Avatar is probably going to be the best movie of the year. And there's no way that my opinion can change that. <laughs> it's easily probably going to be. And it comes out at the end of the year. What? Avatar. The first one's like three hours long. I wonder. I wonder how long this one's going to be. I liked it though. Like it's a really. It's a really cool fantasy. Like. Can't get into it. You're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it. Cause you forced me to watch Star Wars. I didn't force you to watch Star yes, you Wars. Did. I told you I didn't want to watch them. I didn't force you to anyway. watch Star Wars. Do you, uh, do you hear the blasphemy that she's saying? I'm talking about I forced yes, her. Yes, he did. Huh? He I might have used the force and Jedi mind tricked you or something, but I didn't force you to do it. Star Wars is amazing. They're just like uh, I don't know. Like I, they're interesting. Don't get me wrong, but like it's just like. So many, and it's so long. You just have to understand the content. I have. I can't yet. I mean, I do. I I, I do, but. What kind of music did y'all Space grow Jam up? 2. What do you think about Space Jam 2? I love Space Jam 2. I think people hated on it, but I'm also biased because I love LeBron James. I have a LeBron James poster in my crib. Back to the music comment. I have a very wide plethora of music knowledge because... Both my parents listened to that. Well, they both listened to completely opposite music than each other, but they both also have their own plethora of music. So, like, anytime we go anywhere, I know like all the songs <laughs> because of my parents, especially my daddy. My mom's more of a country girl, but like, my daddy listens to rock, rap, etc. <laughs> I can't like. Off the top of my head, but 
I, I, I pretty much grew up on everything. Uh, a lot, my dad was in a singing group, so a lot of the Temptations, uh, those style of groups. Michael Jackson was probably and is probably my number one artist ever. And then second is Kanye. But growing up, I was listening to pretty much everything. Pop music. You know, my CD case looked... Uh, my CD case was pretty random from, you know, Britney Spears to Mariah Carey to Silk the Shaka to Master P to P.O.D. to Red Hot Chili Peppers to Limp Biscuit to, you know, uh, Gorillas, uh, Eiffel 65, Foo Fighters, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. I didn't really get into 90, 98 Degrees and shit. They were like a yeah. discount. They were like a discount. Yeah. There's one song by them I like. 98 Degrees? I can't remember which one it is, though. I can't remember the title. Christine Aguilera. Did y'all think Pink was a black Was black when she came out? I thought she was a light-skinned black lady. Shout out to Pink because she is... No, I didn't. I didn't either, but she is very much a... I don't know. Like, she's a staple... What's good, Bam Bam? I fuck with Pink. Yeah, Pink's dope. She is. During during like the... <laughs> here, we want her. You you can take back uh Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, I don't know now. Yeah, what? His face is paralyzed. So from herpes. Okay, first of all, no one knows that it's herpes. The, okay, and I do. Yes, it is out. because the um I'm speaking on this man's condition. The like the condition he has is a temporary. Like, I googled it. It's temporary from the human vi like herpes virus or something. Like it is. <laughs> but like one in three or saying. like one in five people have like the herpes virus. So it's not like I'm bashing him, but I'm saying it I'm is not, from the herpes virus. I don't know. She does. I want Pink to do another R and B album. Donda, Kanye. Uh, it, it was best album of last year. Or Pink was doing R&B music. It was mad at first that they had her go pop. What? Pink was doing... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, this, this, from, from my perspective, uh, you had Britney Spears, who was the teeny pop princess face of pop female. You had Christina Aguilera, who was a little bit more sexy. And then you had Pink, who was edgy. Um, I think as far as pop music was concerned... Uh, Pink's music fit the in between, or, or or like if this was like a triangle, you had Britney Spears on one side, Chris Street Aguilera on one side, you would have you would have had Pink on the other side. You get what I'm saying? It's Ramsey Hunt. Okay, go Google Ramsey Hunt syndrome and what it comes from and why. Look, we're not having this herpes like, conversation right now, I man. I know what I read. We're go not read. having. We're not having go this. Read. We're not having this herpes conversation. So, okay, so go read. So we don't have to talk about it. Just you go guys. read. You can. She also did stand up like Catman. No, I want to do the Chappelle show. For sure. Now, that's what I want to do is react to the Chappelle show. The Thoughts on Riri Williams, Williams replacing the Robert next. Um, it depends on how they do it. And uh, since Secret Wars is going to be a trilogy, I don't think that uh, Iron Man is or Robert Downey Jr. is all the way out of the question just yet. He did. But not, not, not if you get another variant. Yeah, not but, if you have another variant. But he died in all, in every, like, he died in pretty much all of them. And what if? But what if was only canon, what if was only, the only what if universe that was canon was Captain Carter's. Remember Mandy Moore? She was part of that teeny bop. Mandy, she was under, she was under, uh, to, Mandy Moore belonged with uh, 98 Degrees. They were discount <laughs> pop stars. Discount. They were discount pop stars. Because, like, everybody else did what they were supposed to do. Backstreet Boys was the group that was supposed to stay together. Mm -hmm. NSYNC, everybody knew that Justin was going to be the one. You know what I'm saying? Britney continued to do what she did. Christina, Christina continued to do what she did. And, and Pink was going to, she was going to sell because Pink, uh, Pink was going to sell because Pink uh, was more of a worldwide artist and all-around artist. The, the fans of Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera all like Pink. Johnny Depp is supposed to replace Amber and Aquaman. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Jessica Simpson. Yeah. Discount. 
She's like a discount Britney Spears. Yep, discount pop stars. Discount. Six fifty-five. They had some. Oh, is it? Mm. Okay. They had some good. Uh. They had uh, Jessica Simpson had a good Marker. record. He probably won't. He he did. He died, didn't he? Didn't Stu die? The one that played Shaggy. I mean, yeah, the one that played Shaggy. I think he died. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think he died. So probably not. <laughs> he probably won't return. Bro, I think I think they already spoiled it. Cause it, cause if it ends up not being Kirby, then why the fuck are you just gonna bring Kirby in there for? That's a waste of fucking. That's a waste. Who is your favorite actress? One of my favorite people of all time. You want to tell him? You. You say it. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. I love him. Uh, DC has better characters. Marvel has better movies and does is is better on the. Better in the playbook. Better with the coaching staff. They got better everything else with results and better movies. Imagine Johnny in that red wig. He would kill it, honey. <laughs> oh, imagine Johnny in that he red wig. He would kill it. Oh, my God. Bro. Here, are they are so cute together. <laughs> Johnny and Camilla are so... Or Camille. They are so cute. Like, I love when they just hug each other. It's so cute. No, he's alive. I don't know his name, but it's Stu Marker from the first. <laughs> she said, imagine Johnny in that. I know she's funny. <laughs> Shout out to you, Chantal. You're ah uh, comedy. He's alive. I don't know his name, but Stu Marker. Yeah, I, I thought he died though. Girl, we love Idris. He is fine as hell. Okay, and he's British. He's a black British man. Like that, I love black people that have accents like that. I don't know why. It's such a like. Oh, you would fall in love. Like with I the, love Aboriginal. The, like the drill. I love the Aboriginal Australian people too. Like the drill. I don't know rap. why I love the the British or Aussie accent. Okay, you guys. It's about seven o'clock. I got a session. We're about he to. Is the music engineer, you know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here, but we appreciate everybody that. Tapped in with the super chats. We appreciate talking with you guys. We'll probably do this very, very soon. As soon as we hit another, um, as soon as we get to 7K, we'll probably, 7K subs. We'll probably do it again next month so we can do another yeah. thing for movies. We'll probably do one once a month for movies. And then, of course, when we hit the 1K mm -hmm. or the, the 7K. Yeah. So uh, make sure you guys are staying on the channel tonight because we got the reaction to everything, everywhere, all at once. Good job. Okay. Uh, we got that. If you want to make a movie request, make sure you guys check out our Patreon. If you want to get full access to the uh, our reactions, go to our Patreon. All right, we got some movies that we put here. Make sure you like this video too. Yeah, make sure you guys like are liking the video. the video and hitting subscribe if you're new here. And we're gonna put uh, these movies in a poll, and we're also gonna put some movies in a poll on Patreon. So our patrons, if you're paying attention. We'll have that up as well, and the poll will be up so you guys can check it out, all right? So uh, make sure you guys check out the, the reaction for tonight, and we'll see you guys very soon. We love you guys. We appreciate it. We out. I smashed that thumbs up button. So we got South Africa, New Zealand.